guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another empties video. It's been a little while actually since I've done one, so I have quite a bit saved up. If you don't know, this is where we go through all my stuff that I've used up. So this is all stuff that I have used, I have most likely loved, but I'll tell you all my thoughts on everything that I've used. First, I have three of these guys. These are the simple cleansing wipes, the kind to skin cleansing wipes. They're for sensitive skin. They remove waterproof makeup. They're amazing. This is literally the only wipe that I swear by. I have used the Neutrogena ones. I've used every brand of wipes on the market and these are just the ones that I keep going back to. So simple wipes will stay in my collection forever probably. Okay, next up I have this guy right here. So this is the Spun Gel Blossom Bliss Body Wash Infused Buffer. It's like a big sponge that's a star. This is just a package. I have this in my shower. I'm not done using it yet, but I threw this in here because I do really like it and I'm gonna keep using it. It's like, it's great for exfoliating because it's like a, a hard kind of sponge. It's not really soft, but it has body wash in it and it smells so good. You can keep reusing it as long as there's still soap in it. So I'm gonna keep it in my shower and I think it's good for like right before I tan and stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna tan this weekend. So exfoliate the crap out of my skin. Next I have this guy, <laughs> this is a sad day for me. This is the Daveness Oi Conditioner. I've had this forever and it actually lasted me a really long time because you only need a tiny, tiny bit of it. And um, it smells, oh, it smells so good. I can still smell it in there. I love the Daveness Oi line and it's very like moisturizing for your hair. It has good ingredients in it and it smells amazing. So yes, I would definitely purchase this guy again along with the shampoo. I actually switched back recently to the L'Oreal Everpure line. I used to use it a long time ago and then I started working at a hair salon. So I was using the Daveness, but I switched back to my L'Oreal Everpure because um, it's amazing shampoo and you can get it at the drugstore. So. That's what I'm using now, but I would definitely buy this again. Maybe the next time I go to get my hair cut, which um, hopefully is soon because I look like a damn mess. Another one from Davines. This is the Momo shampoo. Again, I like this one a lot because it has great ingredients. I like this one because I have really dry ends. Like I get super oily in my crown, but my ends get super dry. So that's why I like using Kind of, this is like a moisturizing shampoo, but it's not too moisturizing. So that's what I like about this guy. I knew this one was coming. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Of course, this is in my empties. I go through these all the time. This is in literally every empties video. And um, yes, I shed tears when this is gone. This is just the best mist in the entire world. It's super fine. It smells amazing. It makes your, it just transforms your makeup. Like I have it on now and like, you can see my skin looks like skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a shit ton of powder. It's just awesome. So yes, I will buy this a hundred times over again. I, I wish I could buy it in bulk. So that's how much I love it. A couple skincare items. First I have, this is the niacinamide 10% zinc 1% from The Ordinary. Um, all three of these skincare items are from The Ordinary and I'm obsessed. This guy is great for acne. So this kind of keeps my breakouts at bay and I just put a couple drops into my hand. Um, sometimes I'll just like mix the two serums together. The second one I'm gonna talk about in a second, but um, I'll just put a couple drops of each in my hand morning and night and I'll just rub it all over my face and oh, it's so good. It's really made a big difference in my skin using these products and I highly recommend The Ordinary. Um, they sell them on Sephora online now so you can get them there and The Ordinary is just freaking amazing. Like you get amazing, amazing ingredients, really good quality skincare for a very affordable price. I think these were like five, six dollars each. So The Ordinary is amazing. The second one that I use is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This one I really like because hyaluronic acid just does wonders for my skin. Um, it helps me with moisture where I'm dry, but it doesn't like overly moisturize me because I'm, I'm oily in my T-zone. I get so oily and I just, 
I don't like using thick creams. I don't like how they feel on my skin. So I use the hyaluronic acid to help with moisture. And um, I also use aloe vera, if you guys didn't know. Maybe I'll do a little like skincare routine because I have a solid skincare routine and I will not change it for literally anything. So maybe I'll do a an updated skincare routine because this really worked for my skin and my skin has changed tremendously on this routine. If you guys haven't watched any of my skin diaries before, I will um, link the playlist down below because my skin really went through it and you guys can see and like I've tested out skincare stuff before I don't know if I'll do any more skin diaries maybe if I get facials and stuff but after the last one man I was like no more I'm finding a routine that works for me and that's it when it works it works and we're done here so that's kind of the point that I'm at now so that brings me to the last skincare item this is from the ordinary as well this is the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil I freaking swear by this oil. Um, like I said, I do not like to moisturize with heavy cream. So I just like, I haven't really found that moisturizer that's wowed me yet. I do still really like the Clinique Moisture Surge. I like the Belief Aqua Balm, the Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost, like those types of gel moisturizers I like. But oh my gosh, I never thought I would like an oil. And this is the first time I've ever used an oil. For my skin and I just like I fell in love with it because it's moisturizing but it's not heavy and it doesn't feel disgusting your skin just glows and it feels so fresh and my skin just sucks it up it's just so good and for like six dollars you cannot beat this it I, I swear this helped my acne too the rose hip seed oil I think it's supposed to but um, I actually heard somebody on YouTube talking about it. I don't even remember who at this point because I watched so many videos on skincare, but um, I heard somebody at some point recommend this um, oil. Maybe it was the Taylor. I think it was the Taylor. If you don't watch her, she's amazing. You should. Um, yeah, but I, I think it was the Taylor because she was on Accutane for a while and she was using the rose hip seed oil and I think she swore by it. I also now swear by it because this just it's so good and it makes such a big difference. When I put this on at night, I wake up in the morning and I notice it. Like I notice these three products made a difference overnight and I cannot say that about the majority of the skincare that I've tried unless it's a bad difference. So I am repurchasing these. They're in my cart at Sephora right now and um, I need to click order because <laughs> I'm out of them and um, currently I'm very sad about it. So. The Ordinary is amazing. If you haven't um, tried them before, I really recommend that you do. If I know the names can get confusing on there and you're like, what the heck is this? I don't know what a niacinamide does. What the hell? What do I order? What's right for my skin? They're really good about describing all the products. It'll tell you exactly what it's for. It's, if it's for dehydrated skin, it'll tell you. If it's for fine lines and wrinkles, it'll tell you. So just kind of read through all the products. Do your research before you pick different items out. Um, that's what I didn't and I am in love with the products that I chose um, because I chose them specifically for my skin type. So um, if you're not the same skin type and you're not acne prone, kind of oily, you know, you have issues with texture on your skin, don't pick the same ones as me. <laughs> If you are, yeah, these are great products, but pick the ones that are right for your skin type because it's the only thing that's gonna help you. Um, if your skin's different than mine, these products might not help you. Just go in there and read everything and do your research before you purchase anything. And that's all I have to say about that. Moving on from skincare, I have three mascaras. Yes, three. Um, I can't believe I didn't have more mascaras, honestly, because I feel like I blow through mascara. This one is the Tarte Tartist mascara so this one has a really spiky kind of bigger wand which i typically really really like in mascaras i like those kind of spiky wands because they're good at separating and making your lashes look really long and that's exactly what this one did um would i repurchase this one again probably not because i'm just hooked on benefit mascaras they're my all-time favorite and I, you just can't beat benefit i'm sorry there i said it i have my favorite mascaras this just it worked really well, but it's not my top, top, top favorite mascara. So that's all I'm saying, you know? I, I liked her, but she's not my top, top favorite. The next is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I bought the waterproof one by accident. Um, it dried up pretty quick, I wanna say, but I was never a huge fan of this mascara. Maybe it's because I have the waterproof. It was really freaking hard to remove, and I have some good ass makeup remover, and this was hard to remove for me. I did not like that. If it's too hard for me to remove, like, forget it. I don't want to wear it because 
I don't want my lashes to be like sticky and gross and hard at the end of the night. It's just not cute. It, nobody wants that. Nobody wants a mascara they can't get off. So this guy, I don't think I would repurchase this. Um, it didn't do anything spectacular for my lashes. Yes, it's pretty similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I was never like a giant fan of that one anyway. This one, personally, I would pass on because it's just not my cup of tea. Next up, this was the Marc Jacobs, uh, the Velvet Noir Mascara. I did actually really like this one. It made my lashes look really big and it has that kind of better than sex wand, but for some reason it performs a lot better. I don't know why, but it's really black and it's really, really nice. They actually sent this one to me. I don't know if I want to repurchase that. I, like I said, the price, this one, it's the price. Like, would I repurchase this if it was a drugstore price or even a benefit price? Yeah, I would. But I just wouldn't because it's a little pricier than that. It's Marc Jacobs. It's a luxury brand. Of course, it's going to be expensive. But I don't know. I just feel like I have mascaras that work for me that are cheaper. So for that reason, I wouldn't repurchase this one. But if you are interested in checking out a luxury mascara, this is a really good one. Next up, I have a liner also from Marc Jacobs. And these I will repurchase forever. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner. This one's in the shade Blacker. This is just their black gel liner. There's literally a little nub left. I can't even use this anymore. But I do have another one already and I have these in a couple of colors, not too many. My two favorites that I always repurchase are um, Blacker and Pink of Me. I think it's called Pink of Me. It's like the really pretty like light pink shade. Um, I like that for my bottom waterline a lot, but these are so freaking creamy. They last on your waterline all day. They just glide on so well. And I have yet to find a liner that I like better than these, which sucks because they're expensive. They're like, I wanna say they're like $21 for one liner. But they last a pretty good amount of time. I want to say they don't dry up on me, which is great. And they're a twist up, so they're easy. Not great if you're a working makeup artist because they're hard to sanitize. I, I actually like pencils you can sharpen for clients because it's more sanitary. But for personal use, I'm obsessed with these and I will, um, I will be bougie and whore myself out for this every time. <laughs> Next, I have a couple of brow pencils. Um, I have two from Clinique in... Soft brown. I don't even think they make this anymore. When I used to work there, I got these. I think I got them at gratis or something. I truly don't know. It's not my favorite brow pencil. I like how super, it's called the super fine brow pencil. Um, I know that like when I worked there, we were out of them for a really long time and they never came back. So I don't know if they discontinued them. I don't know what's going on with these. I just, I wouldn't repurchase these even if they are still on the market. They don't have a spoolie, which is the biggest thing that bothers me about them. I think they're still like around 20, 18, $20. So for that reason, I feel like I can find a drugstore pencil. Equal quality, but also has a spoolie. So for that reason, this one's a no. And then the last two, these ones have my heart, man. These really do. These are the Morphe brow pencils. They are so freaking awesome. They're so fine. I'm not being biased here. I'm not being biased about the spray either. Just because I work for Morphe does not mean I'm gonna like blow smoke up everybody's butt. I truly freaking love Morphe products. And it's not, I'm not saying that I am diehard for every single Morphe product, I'm not. But the brow pencils, man, even the pomades I love. The brow products are just good. And the pencils are, I would say that they are on par with like an Anastasia pencil. They have a spoolie, they're $5. You can't beat the price. I will buy these thousands of times over. It's my favorite brow pencil and um, you can't make me not love it, sorry. So that's it for my empties today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will list all of the products down below and everything so you can find everything easily if you're interested in purchasing anything. Um, obviously no pressure, I don't get anything from it. So <laughs> subscribe, I have a lot of cool stuff coming. Um, lots of cool tutorials. I'm getting freaking married next month, what? So I'm gonna probably film my like bridal trial. My friend Colby's doing my makeup, so um, stay tuned for that, she's amazing. And I am so excited for all the content I have coming. It's gonna be fun. I am flipping around my beauty room right now, so hopefully I'll have a different setup soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, let me know what things you've gone through lately, like makeup-wise or mentally, whatever you feel like sharing. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.